Heidi, hi. Welcome back to Reddit Relationship Advice, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I have my, my grout fit on. Mm, should've stretched. And I have my iPad. Let's go to Reddit and see what kind of trash we find. Fresh after breakup, friend that made my ex uncomfortable made a move on me. Now I don't know what to do. Well, maybe I do. <laughs> A brief backstory. Before asking for advice, just so some people will understand the situation better, my girlfriend of seven months broke up with me because she had an issue with my long-term female friend. Okay, it's like a one person. She was accusing her of having feelings for me and crossing boundaries, but I seriously couldn't see what she was seeing, so we split up. <laughs> you didn't see what she was seeing or you didn't want to see what she was seeing? I guess we'll find out. I was relieved at first that mm, because at least she didn't um, tell me to choose between them and decided to break up with me instead. You know what? Pro props to my girl for like doing the right thing because it's hard <laughs> and I know I it's hard. It's hard. I even confided in said friend and she was really supportive and sweet. Shocking. Until she actually tried to make a move on me. More shocking while I was still hurting after a breakup. So you were, you would, okay, let's just finish it. Uh, she was at my place to grab a drink and when it came time to call it a night, she tried to go to bed with me saying that she can make my pain go away. Oh, she was like, see, she wasn't, ooh, she ain't even trying to like make it. <laughs> she didn't even try to like have the ones like, you know, someone like you needs. Someone that's not going to run away. You know, we you know, create the narrative. You know, in the movies. On oh, the movies. Oh my god, I love the movies. Um, but she wasn't even trying to like paint the scene. She was just like, you try to, you try to eat this kitty cat. <laughs> uh, I told her no. I told her no, <laughs> and she actually got kind of hurt, or maybe shy. I don't know. I'm sure you don't know. I don't think you're good at reading things. Um, but she said that she only tried to make my ex eat her words by doing the exact that don't make no sense <laughs> she tried it and you stupid now, i shouldn't say you stupid me when you get you, you're not smart he's not smart uh she went to sleep on the couch and apologized to me in the morning saying the there's three percentage signs were speaking through her we'll say that's cthulhu cthulhu was speaking through her in tongues all right we were both really drunk, to be honest. I had a little more to drink than her, probably, but we both weren't in the right headspace. Yet, it still bugs me. It makes me feel like my ex was right all along, and she actually saw some signs that I ignored. I think he's cracked the code. <laughs> the breakup is still fresh. At least, you know, like, it, it seems like he genuinely did care about this girl. He's just dumb. I should stop saying that. He lacks the emotional maturity to see things for what they possibly are and he did not give enough value to his partner to believe the words that she was saying and these are all shortcomings on his part but it seems more like a oh you're just a man child more than he's just like an asshole uh you know pick your poison uh, the breakup is still fresh. It happened just over a week ago. I don't know where to go from there, and I was hoping to get some clarity and advice here. Uh, I think you need, well, first of all, it depends if you want to get back with your girl, and then you need to say, I'm sorry, um, I was dead ass wrong. And then it's hard because then that's, that might be changed forever, and you might actually just need to deal with that. I'm all about chalking it up to a learning experience. So you might just need to say, hey, next time my partner says I, I get a sneaky links vibe from this friend, believe him. Um, and watch your friends of what they do. And I mean, especially when you have a friend for a long time, it can be easy to be dismissive of some things that you're going through. Even if it's something platonic and like, oh, they say these things and it hurts my feelings. It doesn't have to just be something romantic. Um, but sometimes we give more permission to people that we consider friends than we should. Um, so it's just an important thing to watch out for. And some people have to do that more than others. And I think you need to do that a lot. All right, next. My 18 year, oh, mm, 
Hold up. My 18 year old female sister, 19 year old female, is fucking my boyfriend. Child. Who, who said Gen Z wasn't wildin'? <laughs> It's what the title fucking says. The girl who's, the girl who's basically been a sister to me. Girl, you lie. What well, it sound like? Mm. <laughs> the lies and the deceits. It starts at it starts at home and it started with you, girl. Anyway, now I don't even want to read it. It's not as fun for me. I'm gonna go to the last paragraph. Well, then that won't make no sense. All right. The title fucking says the girl who's basically been a sister to me all my life and who I'm living and going to college with is fucking my boyfriend in my god- in my goddamn bed- in the bed t I wish. You know what you should do? You should get some poison ivy leaves and rub it on your sheets. But then you gotta make sure you're not home so then, you know, you gotta time it out right. <laughs> so it's not like, are oh, you gonna go to your bed? Be like, no girl, I'm gonna sleep on the couch. And like, that's gonna be suspect. So you gotta figure that out. Um. And that's a joke because I'm not liable for anything anyone does. We've been dating for six months, so I know it shouldn't hurt as much. At, uh, that it's it's right to hurt at any stage if you're official with someone. That's that ain't it. I'm sorry, but this was also one of my first real relationships. So like I don't know. Fair enough. I guess what makes everything worse is that they don't feel bad about. G definitely do the poison ivy is what um, some miscreants would say. And I'm not a miscreant <laughs> anymore. Uh, like he asked me to join. I guess this is that Gen Z energy. I just... <laughs> hey, 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 it's a new age. <laughs> it's a new dawn, it's a new day. He was just going on about creating this place where we could live happily and I need to just get through this. Okay, I'm, we're just gonna, we're gonna like plow, plow through and then, then opinions. I'm gonna do my best. This just is, is, is wild to me. Okay. He was just going on about creating this place where we could live happily and I wouldn't have to be hung up about priority and shit. I haven't had sex with him yet because I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm a virgin loser. I know, I know. Girl, you ain't no virgin loser. You're 18. That's fine. Um, but he's convinced it's because of society or whatever. D which I don't... It's really hard not to jump in. <laughs> which I didn't really get. But he backed off after a bit of pushing regardless. So I didn't pay too much attention at the time. Anyways, he wants to make this place where we could live happily with a bunch of other girls. He's been fucking texting behind my back. <laughs> create a commune Le legit <laughs> Ooh, and, and, mm, I lost my place help me Jesus uh, <laughs> my sister was just nodding her head along like he uh, why keep calling her your sister she ain't really your sister and she she fucked your man so she again it's really hard not to stop okay my sister was just nodding her head along like he wasn't spouting utter bullshit and was talking about how much closer we could become. I left after that and now I'm at call now I'm at my college library on Reddit. <laughs> I'm still in shock, I think. I have no idea what to fucking do. I can't go to either of our parents. We had a bad fight because they didn't want me to stay with her. I wonder what it's kinda like the last one where someone sees something about your relationship and uh, you just want to ignore it and give them benefit of doubt even when they don't deserve it. I've been guilty of it. D look, I'm, n I'm no, I'm no saint. <laughs> I just, I, I understand. Uh, but there's a level of tolerance and I haven't hit it. And I pray the Lord, I pray to the Lord that I do not get this tolerant. Uh, anyway, uh, but everybody in her family has always picked on her and treated her badly. Again, here come the excuses when she's done nothing wrong in your eyes. Um, I don't really have any friends outside my sister and boyfriend that I can stay with. Yeah, that's that's tricky. I have most 
of my important stuff alongside with me from documents and other little trinkets and plushies but just the thought of going back to my room is making me nauseous fair enough i dk if i should just bite the bullet and ignore everything or wait it out or something i don't want to lose my sister or my boyfriend but i'm so fucking angry with them both i just really really don't want to start crying in the library what do i do you She's a teenager. I need to stop pretending like she's this grown ass woman and you don't have a lot of friends to support you. You're just starting college. Heard, great. Uh, the self-esteem is low and that's all right, but you gotta go to therapy and that has to be your main focus. And, and you can't have either of these people in your life at least for the short term until you get that part up. Because when you get that part up, then you'll realize that you don't really need them, but you don't see that right now because your self-esteem is too low. Um, so working on your self-esteem, which will involve removing them from your life and see that as a temporary move. And then you can come back to them after you feel like you've um, fortified yourself. And trust me, once you have, you'll, you'll make the right choice. Girlfriend gets sad every time I tell her something that makes me sad about what she said slash did. Smells like manipulation. Oh, this one's short, praise the Lord. All right, when I tell my girlfriend something that she said or did made me sad, she starts getting really sad and I have to comfort her each time. <laughs> Girl said, reverse uno, bitch. <laughs> I told her this once, but I don't really know what to do because I ended up not telling her anything now because I know she will just get sad and I have to comfort her. You don't have to do shit, okay? You also don't have to be with her. You can just dump her ass. I'm uncertain if I should tell her again, but I don't think it will make a difference. I even tried telling her very casually, but even that made her sad. Well, if she's already sad, you might as well just dump her ass. I mean, what difference will it make? She'd be sad or sadder. She's already she's already sad, <laughs> in my opinion. I, Cause here's my thing. You just you just gonna deal with this for when? The rest of the time? Tick tock. Time's running out. <laughs> One day we gonna die <laughs> and you don't want to be with her. Last thing you want is to be 35 years old and looking at this woman while you sipping your coffee and just be like, I really gave her 10 years of my life that I will not get back. You know, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, this look good. My strange dad called me after two and a half years and I don't know how to react. Ooh, although I don't know how much advice I can give. I don't know my daddy. <laughs> but I also don't have a man. And I'm giving a lot of advice about that. So. And I think we're good for the day. Thank you. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining me for another video of Reddit Relationship Advice. The good, the bad, the ugly. And I'll see you next time. Bye.